weekly warm up. It's the weekly warm up. Uh, Jim's not Brian. Uh, uh, Chad's not Brian either. Uh, uh. God. <laughs> because remember, I used to be like, not Brian. And then you'd be like, better. Now I'm not giving you the opportunity to yep. slander my friend who's at home <laughs> with the butt squirts. <laughs> But I'm here with the butt squirts. Here with the butt <laughs> yeah. squirts. What's your excuse, right? <laughs> so, gang, tonight we are recording. I mean, our just so you know, our weekly warm ups are very different from the actual episodes as they release week to week. Sorry about it. We're trying to be as ahead as possible because I have very serious life circumstance coming up in about March of next year. So, you know that. Uh, are you excited about the episode, Jim? Uh, yeah. Do you want to tell these fuckers what they can hope for coming up in a few weeks? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're doing Marvel of Zombies. <gasps> yes, we are. And something Which else. Which means it's a Jake rant. <laughs> it basically is. Yeah, so over the next few months, you can expect that there's going to be like one person-led report-style episodes that other people can kind of chime in on and be more layman-like together. We're thinking this might be more excessive or accessible for people. It will be excessive in the amounts of work. This is the most notes I've ever taken. I clocked in over 30 pages worth of notes. Oh so you're all welcome for that. But yeah, Chad is working on one involving Japanese demons. Brian is sleeping, but I'm sure when he wakes up, he's going to be working on his Hammer House films. So Jim, what do you think you're going to... You're really spearheading the international cryptids battle, right? Yes. So that's, this guy was Missed out on the first one, so I get to do the next one. Frothing at the yeah. fucking mouth to get into this episode. He's like, if you try and record without me, I'll fucking gut your baby. And I was like, whoa, Jim, that's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> Said it. Right, Chad? Yeah, I was there. Crazy. Witnessed. We like the crazy. Yeah, I said I'd help him, though, so. What the fuck? <laughs> My kid actually likes you. That makes it so much darker. You're just a bad man. You're a I'm, bad man, Jabba. Yeah, right, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> So, what was your favorite comic character growing up? It sounds horrible because it's just too much now, but like I really like Wolverine. Wolverine's a great character, and the '90s was a great time to be in love with Wolverine. You know, every era of comics, you get something in excess, right? Right. The '90s was very much pouches and grittiness. You had Wolverine, Ghost Rider, Punisher. They had multiple crossovers that I have. Um, cable characters like that and so I mean then he gets to kind of the like 2010 example everything's hyper colored and silly like Deadpool yep. there's Deadpool family there's Deadpool core there's Deadpool this he's in every fucking thing he has a long running series with Spider-Man now yes when he started off he was just a kind of sassy assassin right an, an assassin assassin and Jim who was your your go to as a kid it's X-Men or Wolverine too oh just because I didn't read comics, mm. but um, I definitely played the X-Men Sega Genesis game. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Which one, though? Because there's the good and the bad. I honestly don't know. Yeah. I, I, it was at a friend's house that I would go to like every week, and uh, I, I, don't, I have no idea which game it was, but um, it was like a... And they were probably all like this. It was like the side-scroller yep. type. There's three different order. ones that were really popular. Right? Um, but... Did it have Nightcrawler in it? Yeah, it did. That's a good one. Okay. In my opinion. I know a lot of people <laughs> would say it sucks, but I love it. All the, the superpowers are so fucking broken, so I love it. I don't even... Yeah. It, it, so, I definitely watched some of the cartoons, too. Yeah. Um, the 90s ones are yeah. amazing. So, I... I that's the only exposure don't I Don't love that well. No, they don't. Just to tell you right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry to chime in. Not that good. The animation is... Fucking terrible. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> the, like, the... But they were so much deeper with, like, the actual, you know, plots. Yeah. And well, you're like, oh, dang, like, they're getting into, like, weird racism, and you're like, oh, that's crazy. That's one of the things, X-Men, for how oversaturated and terrible it is, there's also some really good substance there. Right. And, and like, that whole morph with Wolverine part, uh, I loved it. It was great. Wolverine, pull back! <laughs> yeah, I have that shit memorized. <laughs> Jesus. Well, he great. also, when he flashes back, they say that, like, 50 times in the episode. Yeah. And Night of the Sentinels, I remember being such a nerd that I, like, made my dad buy, like, buy Pizza Hut that weekend. So that we would get the VHS tapes <laughs> that like ended with this shitty 3D model of the X Men, and I remember being like, "Oh my god, if only I could play a video game where it was those." And then you play video games where it's like those kind of crappy 3D models, and you're like, "Fuck this, burn it down! I want my 2D 8-bit <laughs> side scroller." 
Uh, so you were saying, is there a favorite X Men that you have? I mean, aside from Wolverine. Mm. Sorry, because you said X Men and you said the game, so I wanted to kind of bring. Well, yeah, I don't probably. It'd probably be Wolverine. He's definitely for me the most badass. No. Yeah. And then I'm a big fan of Colossus. Not yeah. a lot of people give him credit. That was one of my favorite of the cartoons too, when he fights Omega Red. Fuck yeah! I love that one. It's a great concept. Yeah. You have like the reformed Russian versus the actual Red Death. Exactly. It was great. I was super interested in that one. So do you know that Sabretooth was originally conceived to be Wolverine's dad? Because oh. Sabretooth is actually an Iron Fist villain from the 70s, and they fought like in the Siberian Alps. Hmm. And then, yeah, years later, they're like, oh, these guys are kind of similar. Why don't we do this, and we'll make him his dad. And then when Wolverine Origins came out, they just scrapped it, and it was kind of implied they might be siblings. And then Wolverine Origins, the movie, made them siblings. And you're like, that's not correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's weird. Yeah. It, as far as DC Comics characters go, anybody? That's tough. See, I was Batman. I was like, that was, my mom would still to this day only buys me Batman superhero stuff because I used to walk around and they'd be like, who are you? And I'd be like, I'm Batman. <laughs> that was, I would like, I had that costume and I wore, I mean, I wore my pajamas to fucking death in my office, you know, my professional law office now. I have a statue of Batman. I have a Batman clock. I have a Batman um, frame thing on my desk. And the funny thing is I haven't read a current Batman comic in about five years. Huh. I not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just like Marvel Unlimited kicks DC's yes. ass when it comes to like the accessibility of it, and I don't have the money or space to be buying actual like tangible media like that anymore. So, DC, anyone? Uh, I'd say the Flash. I always liked him, but which one? Barry Allen. Yeah, I like Barry, but then the comics he dies so I mean so long ago. Right. But he's so integral because. I don't know if you know this, but the Silver Age of comics rings in with the Flash versus the Flash. When they debuted the new Flash, that was the end of the Golden Age era. And I think the Silver Age is really, really impressive when you think about what they were operating off of. Yeah, plus it's DC, so I'm not fully read up on all yeah. of it. Because, <laughs> you know, it's DC. Well, it's, the problem <laughs> is, like, their app sucks compared to Marvel. Marvel, yeah. like, you have a six-month gap, and then it's And everywhere. their movies. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Marvel knows that their comics now are basically a commercial for their movies. Yeah. So they can operate at a massive loss because they're going to have a significant gain at the end of it. Right. Whereas DC is trying to use their comics, which are st struggling still, to be a platform that's monetized in its own right to help finance their movies. It's not going to finance your movies. It creates interest for your movies. These are your free commercials. Or yeah. whatever. Jim? So how does, does, now that Disney owns Marvel, do they just own the movie rights or do they have a stake in the comics too? So they own everything. They own everything. Okay. And so they don't own like Spider-Man. They did purchase right. 20th Century Fox. They got back. I believe Blade was under that. X-Men are under that. Fantastic Four. Deadpool. Uh, so the only one who's outlying is Spider-Man. And that's what that big whole yes. kerfuffle was right. about him. But here's the thing. If you're Sony you've benefited from this Marvel partnership because Spider-Man is worth more now than he ever has been. Yeah. So all Spy all Marvel did in doing this deal was shoot themselves in the foot if in five years they wanted to buy just that character. I mean, each movie they've done has made over a billion dollars. Yeah. So think about how many billions of dollars. Spider-Man is worth more than Star Wars. Quote me on it. Yeah, they're hoping to that Sony's going to flop the next movie without them. But Well, if you look at the fiscal projections, D Disney is very likely to be buying Sony at some point. Yeah. Based on their common interests, which, whatever. I'm care. down. If I could get Spider-Man back in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I didn't say, obviously my favorite Marvel is Captain America. When I was a kid, I don't know if I really had a favorite Marvel character. I really liked Wolverine. Uh, that was just the era that we grew up in. Yeah. I, I love all sorts of weird shit, though, like Alpha Flight. And I like, <laughs> I mean, not to be like pretentious, but I liked Moon Knight before he became gritty and, you know, crazy. Like, I like the Mark Spector Moon Knights a lot. So, you know, Shia LaBeouf might be ruining that character. Who knows? What's <laughs> up? Go, going back to the DC, I think Batman is probably my favorite, too, just because that's what we had, right? Like, yeah. and it was the and best movies, not, for sure. Yeah. 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 And so for me, that was the only movies because I, I don't, didn't really, I yeah. was watching what was popular or whatever. Yeah. I still have. Uh, my mom has them at her house, a box full of Batman toys. When Hell I was yeah. A kid. Uh, your mom might get uh, broken and entered. Yeah, <laughs> I could bring them over for you to play with. I will. Absolutely. I was going to save them for my son. Nope. No. Nope. But you, know, you can have them. <laughs> your son's a dork. I'm a cool guy, right? We all, these people will vouch for me. I'm the cool guy. 